dinosaurs, the ultimate life forms that ruled the Earth for over 165 million years until their untimely demise. But wait, did they have health problems? You're about to find out. This is dinosaur diseases. From the largest to the smallest, all creatures great and terrible. Even dinosaurs got sick. And paleontologists are finding more and more evidence of their illnesses. In the fossil record, a healthy dino had to be in generally good condition to survive the Cretaceous period. And these are usually much less deadly, but still pretty gross. Parasites often weaken their hosts, making them more vulnerable to predators. So if you were a dino with a few extra health conditions, you definitely wanted to avoid being bitten by a blood-sucking worm or getting a nasty infection. That's why some dinosaurs may have started to spend more time alone. Avoiding close contact with other dinosaurs to avoid catching a disease or passing one along, this could have led to social changes within dinosaur communities. They would have looked a lot like modern woodlice or pill bugs. Being a dino may have had its perks, but it also came with some serious health risks. Now go check out more fun dino facts by clicking on this video. They would have lived among the feathers of herbivorous dinosaurs like Ankylosaurus and Ornithomus, eating their flesh and laying their eggs in their nests. Yikes. There are several types of parasites that leave telltale scars in the skin of dinosaurs. One of the most common is a type of mite that lays its eggs under the skin. These little worm-like parasites were probably pretty common since scientists have found them preserved in amber from the same time period. Their favorite hosts seem to be the sauropods like Brachiosaurus. Tiny little mites would burrow face down in the warm, fatty skin of the sauropods, laying their eggs and sucking their blood. Yum. The most common diseases we find evidence of in the fossil record are bone infections, caused by bacteria that get into broken bones or open wounds. A tremolite in the bone can cause an osteomyelitis. If it spreads to the surrounding tissue, it can cause death. In 2009, researchers found that the famous Sioux, the T-Rex at the Field Museum in Chicago, had osteomyelitis. They also found that she was suffering from arthritis, which may have been genetic. Scientists think that this may have been a problem with her right leg, perhaps making it harder for her to walk. It would certainly make hunting much more difficult. So maybe she was more of a scavenger than a hunter. But not all dino diseases were so serious. Parasites are another very common type of illness we see evidence of in the fossil record. Scientists also found what they think are the oldest known dinosaur lice preserved in the fossil record. All these parasites and diseases didn't just affect the dinosaur's physical health, but their behavior too. Now you know that being a dinosaur wasn't always easy, even if you were the biggest, baddest dino around.